In this unit, we will review some Latin phrases that have been assimilated into the English language. Id est means that is and is often abbreviated as IE. Example, many Indians face numerous difficulties during the foreign travels in getting vegetarian food, i.e. food that does not contain any item of animal origin. Exempli gratia which means for example and is often abbreviated as EG. Example, you should avoid food items that are high in carbohydrates, e.g. polished rice, wheat and potatoes. At alia means and others. It is often abbreviated as at all and is commonly used for shortening a long list of authors in a book citation. For example, a book written by four authors, Press, Tukolsky, Wetterling and Flannery will be cited in short as Press et al. Infra dig is short for infra dignitatum which means below one's dignity. Example, the aristocrat's son thought that cleaning his own room was infra dig. Interalia means among other things. Example, the magical forest is home to Interalia, a cannibalistic leprechaun, a hopping elephant and a dancing tiger. Ipso facto means by that very fact. Example, Robert is an immediate heir, therefore he ipso facto inherits a major portion of the estate. Locum tenens is a term for a person who temporarily works in place of another. Locus classicus means the most typical case of something. Example, a young girl putting a flower into the barrel of a soldier's gun is a locus classicus of the anti-war sentiment during the Vietnam War. Mia culpa means by my own fault or I am guilty. The term is commonly used in Christian prayers to confess one's own sins and wrongdoings. Modus operandi refers to the working method of a person or a group. Example, after studying the files extensively, the chief investigator is familiar with the killer's modus operandi. Modus vivendi translates to method of living. The term refers to a mutual compromise agreed upon by conflicting parties to coexist in peace. Ne plus ultra refers to the most extreme example of something. Example, a bullet and sting is a ne plus ultra of the pain a human can withstand. Nil desperandum translates to never despair. Nil desperandum tucro duce is a popular phrase from Horace's Odes which means no need to despair when Tucer as your leader. Non sequitur translates to it does not follow. It is used as a literary device and is opposed to a cliche. Non sequitur is also a kind of logical fallacy. For example, all fish live in water, frogs live in water, therefore concluding that all frogs or fish is a logical fallacy classified as a non sequitur. Per annum means for each year. For example, a population increase of 10% per annum refers to a 10% increase every year. Per capita means for each person. For example, the per capita income is derived by dividing the total income generated with the population of that region. Percent means out of 100. For example, only 85% of the men are literate in our country. Per se means by itself. Example, my neighbor per se is a good man unless you intend to bring his wife into the equation. Prima facie translates to at first sight. Example, the task seemed easy, prima facie, until we went into the finer details. Pro rata translates to according to the rate. The phrase means proportionately. Example, each worker will be paid his weekly wages on a pro rata basis that is for the number of hours he worked in a week. Quid nunc is a Latin phrase used to refer to a gossiper. Quid pro quo translates to something for something. In legal terminology, quid pro quo is a fair amount a buyer pays for the purchase of a commodity or a service. Quod erat demonstrandum often abbreviated as QED means that which has to be proved has been demonstrated and is usually placed at the end of a mathematical proof to indicate that what was to be proven has been proved. Sine die translates to without a day. In legal parlance, the phrase refers to cases or proceedings that are adjourned indefinitely without a new date set for the next hearing. Sine qua non translates to without which not. The phrase refers to something which is an essential part of the whole and is absolutely necessary. For example, freedom of speech is a sine qua non to the smooth functioning of a good democracy. Sub judice translates to under a judge. 
For example, the prime witness will give his testimony sub judice. Sub rosa is a phrase used to refer to something done secretly. Example, the special committee carried out the investigation sub rosa. Sui generis translates to of its own kind. For example, when art critics are not able to classify a creative work under a specific genre, they may term it sui generis. Via media translates to the middle way and is used to refer to the middle of two extreme positions and also indicates moderation in thought and action. Vox populi literally means voice of the people. The term is shortened as vox pop and refers to interviews of common people taken on the street in order to understand public opinion. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. For more details, visit our website leximagic.com.